so the question is the study of fossils is known as here we are talking about the study of the fossils so the study of the fossils is known as paleontology this is the answer and this is of two types like uh, one is a vertebrate and one is invertebrate so the study of the animals like mammals and all those comes into vertebrates and uh, plants and all these comes into invertebrate pentalogy the next question is who has been elected as the president of the cricket association of bengal that's cap in 2015 so if you look into this like sunil gavaskar is not from bengal mohammad azaruddin is from hyderabad anil kumble is from uh, bangalore so the answer is saurav ganguly because he is only um, the bengali out of all of them the next question is which company committed to invest dollar 150 millions for the Indian startups during the Indian Prime Minister's September 2015 US trip. We know that America is popular for its software professionals and companies. So here we have a list of many software companies like Microsoft, Google, Yahoo and Qualcomm. So the answer for this is Qualcomm. Qualcomm has promised to invest $1.150 million for the Indian startups. Uh, in um, the visit of the Prime Minister to America in 2015. The next is, what is the name of the second guided missile destroyer which has been commissioned into INA, that's uh, Indian Navy, recently? So here the options are INS Vajram, INS Kochi, INS Kolkata and INS Mumbai. So. If you talk about many, like the first one was INS Kolkata and uh, the second, uh, the third one is Mumbai. So the answer is INS Kochi. INS Kochi, um, it was uh, commissioned in this um, Indian Navy on 30th September 2015. The next question is, which cities hosted the south asian games in january 2016 so this i mean last year uh, it was organized it was held and it it was held in india so out of these all the states cities like bhopal and jaipur mumbai and kolkata new delhi and pune the answer is guwahati and shillong so the january 2016 south asian games were held in india and that too in guwahati and shillong and the next one we will have in Kathmandu. The next question is, which country is poised to become the third largest buyer of commercial passenger planes in the world with only US and China ahead of it? So that means we are talking about the third one, the first being the US and the second being the China. So, which will be the largest buyer of commercial passenger planes? Commercial, right? We are not talking about any other fighter planes or something. We are talking about the commercial planes. And the options given are France, India, Germany and none of the above ones. So, answer here is India. India is believed to have around um, over 1000 aircrafts by the coming few years. Question is, which city is being developed as a new capital of the current state of Andhra Pradesh? We know that the capital of Andhra Pradesh is Hyderabad as of now, but after the division of Andhra Pradesh into Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, uh, Andhra Pradesh has got a new capital and they are developing it. It's not officially uh, working so far, but they are developing it. And now if we look into this, Hyderabad is current. So we are not talking about this one. Um, Vishakhapatnam is a port city, so it cannot be the capital here. The answer is Amravati. They are developing Amravati as the new capital for Andhra Pradesh. So they have um, left over their uh, stake over Hyderabad. So Hyderabad will be the capital of Telangana in the near future. Next question is, Garampani Sanctuary is located at. We are looking for Garampani Sanctuary. It is located at Junagadh, Gujarat, Dipu Assam, Kohima Nagaland, 
or Gintok in Sikkim? So the answer here is it is in the Dipu area which comes under the um, Golaghat uh, district of Assam. So it is Garampani century is located in Dipu in Assam. Next question is Ashoka's Dhamma or the law of piety. We know that Ashoka is very popular for his Dhamma after the uh, Kalinga war he turned himself from a cruel ruler to a very soft-hearted ruler. So we are talking about Ashoka's Dhamma. What does it has? It had the essence of all religions or the option is the other one was a revolt against the insufficiency of the Buddhist Sanghas. Third option is was a new religion which he founded after the Kalinga war and the last is he laid emphasis on founding a strict set of rituals. The answer is A. Ashoka, I mean Ashoka's Dhamma had the essence of all religions. He never you know, went against the Buddhist Sangha or you know he did not found a new religion but the thing is uh, in the present Hindu religion he inculcated some policies or some good things from the Buddhist Sanghas also. So it had the essence of all the religions, the combination of all the religions, good points of all the religions in Ashoka's Dhamma. The next question is which two countries have voted against a February 2017 UN resolution to impose sanctions against Syria over its alleged use of chemical weapons. So here we are talking about which two countries were against the UN resolution. I mean UN uh, passed a resolution in February 2017 to impose sanctions against Syria against its use of chemical weapons but out of these uh, two countries went against it. So which were the two countries? So the two countries were Russia and China. We know that in UNO we have uh, five permanent members which can go against the resolution and thus the resolution could not be passed because of that. So and those five uh, countries are um, US, uh, Russia, England, uh, France and China. So if you uh, see here, these are the only options mentioned here. So the answer is Russia and China. They went against this UN resolution. Next question says, which country has recently unveiled a project dubbed Mars 2117 under which it aims to establish the first inhabitant uh, inhabitable human settlements on the planet Mars by the year 2117 or 2117. So here we are talking about which country has already made a plan that they want to have a settlement and uh, in the on the Mars by 2117. So the option here is UAE that's United Arab Emirates. They have already made a plan to do that. Next question says, Daniel Ot Otiga has been sworn in for the third consecutive term as the president of which Central American country? Uh, the Central American countries like we know that America is in North America and Latin America and in Latin America we have these uh, Central American countries which comes in the center. So Daniel Ortigo has been elected or he has been sworn for the third consecutive terms means continuously he has been elected as a president for the third term in which Central American country and the option is Nicaragua right so he has been appointed as the i mean elected as the president again for the third time in nicaragua the next question is which among the following airports right we are talking about the airports that claimed uh, it has become the first aerodrome in the world to adopt the unique performance and benchmarking digital platform that's arc which helps in tracking and monitoring the building performance. 
so here it has adopted the building performance system so which is the first aerodrome i mean in the world we can say which has adopted this policy and the answer is a that's indra gandhi international airport very commonly known as igi at delhi so this is the first airport to adopt this technology in india next question is that socialist socialist secular unity and integrity of the nation we know that in our constitution it has been written that we are a socialist secular and you know a country so the socialist secular unity and integrity of the nation these terms have to be replaced only by the unity of the nation and it was added to the preamble according to which amendment of the indian constitution so we want to say that this term only the unity of the nation rather than secular and socialist they were replaced by which amendment in the constitution and the answer is b that is 42nd amendment which was held in 1976 by this constitution we replaced this word only by unity of the nation The question is which nation won Davis Cup in 2016 so which country won the Davis Cup in 2016 the options given are Switzerland Spain Argentina and England and the option is Argentina Argentina won its uh, championship I mean David Cup championship in 2016 So the here it says the hotel is two blocks east to the drug store the market is one block west to the hotel and the drug store is west to the market so let's first define let's say that this is your east and uh, this is your west so this is your drug store and hotel is two blocks east to the drug store so let's leave this one block this is another block right so this is your hotel so as per the first statement hotel is two blocks east to the drug store the market is one block west to the hotel so if we talk about this hotel the your market is one block here right so you can say that this is your market right according to the second statement the market is one block west to the hotel third statement says the drug store is west to the market so this is a drug store it is west we know that this is west right so it is west to the market if the first two statements are true that third statement is so if this statement i mean this and this is true so what will be the third statement is it true or is it false so if we see here we know that the third option was the drug store is west of the market so here if we see this is market and this is drug store so obviously it is on the west so the option is true the next question is winsett has a paper route right so winsett you know he distributes a newspaper so he has a paper route each morning he delivers 37 newspapers to the customers in his neighborhood so in his neighborhood he is delivering 37 newspaper and it takes winsett around 50 minutes to deliver all the newspapers right so in 15 minutes he delivers 37 newspapers in his neighborhood if winsett is sick or has the other plan so he is not well or he has other plans his friend thomas who deliver who lives in the same street will uh, sometimes deliver the newspaper for him so if he is unwell or if winsett has some other plans thomas does that for him so from the above data which of the following statement must be true so here they have given four statements so we need to check on which is correct so winsett and thomas live in the same neighborhood it take thomas more than 50 minutes to deliver the newspaper it is dark outside when winsett begins his deliveries and the last is thomas would like to have his own paper route 
So here we, in this paragraph, it is written the statement, different statements suggest that they live in the neighborhood, same neighborhood, because it's clearly mentioned that they live in the same street means they are neighbors. So they live in the, they have the same neighborhood. Question is, which word does not belong with the others? So here they have given, we have some list of words. So we are going to check which one is a mismatch out here. The first is cornea. Second is retina, vision and pupil. So if we look into that, cornea is a part of an eye. Retina is also a part of an eye. And pupil is also a part of an eye, except vision. This is not a part of an eye. So the option is C, which is a mismatch out here. Here. Next question is choose the most appropriate words from the options given below to complete the following statement. So there are some statements given here and some blanks here. So we have to fulfill out here. Uh, female sparrows and immatures are here we have to find out while the typically adults male sparrow is dash by its marking a black bib, a gray cap and the white lines trailing down from the mouth. Here they have given some kind of description about the sparrows, female and immature and the adult sparrows. Uh, so if you uh, here they have uh, told that you know the male sparrows they have some kind of markings a black bib or a gray cap and some kind of lines that travel you know trail down from their mouths but the female sparrows and immatures are so let's look into the options somewhat nondescript um, okay defer to spot better camouflaged considered to be endangered characterized out of these, the option will be A, that is the female sparrows and the immatures are somewhat non-descript. They don't have different descriptions about them. While the typically adult male sparrow is easily recognized. You can easily recognize them because by their markings, I mean they have given the description how you can, you know, recognize them by their markings a black babe or a gray cap or white line that trail down their mouth so the option is a for this so the next question says find the best correction for the underlined sentences from the four options given below here we have underlined some statements and they have four options we have here so let's find out which will be the best correction for that so the let's start with the paragraph from here under a provision of the constitution that now the underlying one was never applied we are talking about some kind of provision which was never applied congress has been required to call a convention for considering possible amendments to the documents when formally asked to do it by the legislature of the two-third of the states so here we are talking about some kind of provisions in the constitution which were not implemented so let's see what can be the possible options out here which replace these correctly the first is was never applied Congress has been required to call a convention for considering possible amendments to the document when formally asked to do it. This is the first one. The next is was never applied. There has been a requirement that Congress call a convention for consideration of possible amendments of the documents when asked to do it formally. The others is it has never been applied whereby Congress is required to call a convention to consider possible amendments to the document when formally asked to do so. The last says it has never been applied. Congress is required to call a convention to consider possible amendments to the documents when formally asked to do so. So that option is D that it has never been applied so far. The next question says, uh, there is a statement and there are some arguments. So we have to choose which is the correct one or which is the stronger one. Statement says, should all the drug 
patented patented and manufactured in the western countries by uh, be first tried out on sample basis before giving licenses for sale to the general public in india here we are only talking about the drugs which have been patented or manufactured in the western countries because um, in the last few years we have seen that uh, uh, some medicines which were banned there or not allowed or dangerous found dangerous were you know thrown in the indian markets or for the general public in india so this was a statement and the argument says yes many such drugs require different doses and durations for indian population and hence it is necessary because uh, the climate the weather the physical structures everything is different from east to west so they say that yes many such drugs require different doses and duration for the indian population and hence it is necessary the first one the second says statement argument says no this is just not feasible and hence cannot be implemented so these are the two arguments that were given one in favor and the second against the statement so let's choose like only argument one is strong only argument two is strong either one or two is strong neither one nor two is strong so either means means it can be any of them and neither means none of them but if you look into that as we said that the indian population or the characteristics or their climate or everything is different so the argument one is more stronger than the second argument choose the appropriate answer to complete the following sentence this is a sentence and uh, we are going to fill in this with the words given below to those of us who had always thought him timid we there are many it is talking about those people who have thought him to be timid timid means who is afraid or you know uh who doesn't have the uh, zeal to do something you know bravely his his dash came as a surprise inability inevitability intrepidity or internus option is c his intrepidity came as a surprise for the people now the next question says arrange these sentences that a b c d between the sentences 1 and 6 to form a logical sequence of the six sentences here they have given a uh, one option and six and here a b c d are the four ones so we have to find out the sequence i mean we have to place them in sequence all of them the new economic policy comprises the various measures and changes introduced since july 1991 this is the first statement let's look in first into the last statement and then we'll read the you know between four statements uh this is to be at, uh, activated by removing the barriers and restrictions on the entry and the growth of the firms this is the last statement so we have to find out you know uh would arrange them in order so let's read them option a says there is a common thread running through all these measures b says the objective is simple to improve the efficiency of the system c says the regulatory mechanism involving multitude of control has fragmented the capacity and reduced the completion even in the private sectors and option d says the thrust of the new policy is towards creating a more competitive environment as a means of improving the productivity and efficiency of the economy so if you talk about this the correct option is option b so all these statements which have been placed here are actually in order we don't have to arrange them or separate them the next question says correct the underlined part of the sentence by choosing the correct option so here something is underlined we need to correct it up bombast is when high 
sounding word for effect not suitability are used we know that when we speak sometimes we use low volume words sometimes we use high volume words so it is uh, mainly it is written here bombast is when high sounding words for effect not suitability are used so the options are is when high sounding words for effect not suitability are used right the option second is is the use of high uh, sounding words for effect rather than for suitability third is is when high sounding words are used for effect not suitability and the third one last one is is the using of the high sounding words for the effect only so the correct option here is option b so bombast is the use of high sounding word for effect rather than for suitability so sometimes we don't find it suitable but we still use it to have an impact on the other person next question says pick the words from the four option which is most nearly opposite so we are talking about the antonym or the opposite here in the meaning to the bold word the bold word we have out here is recalcitrant recalcitrant and the other words given here are fickless yielding somber and polished so the option here is yielding right the last question out here says the question below consists of a pair of related words followed by four pairs of words select the pair the best expresses the relation in the original pair so we are talking about the relation out here so the options are i mean the first we'll read the board words that's quistling and betray so these are the options so the correct option here is juggernaut that's crushed that basically we crush it up so these are the this is the correct option for this question 